It was kind of a, actually a small scale study, uh, but we aimed to identify the drug related problems with immunotherapy or targeted therapy, which was recently initiated to be used in an uh, outpatient clinic in our hospital, cancer, uh, sorry, oncology hospital. Uh, we had about 56 patients involved in this study and we were aiming to identify what are the main issues with these targeted therapies. That's what we are going to use. They are expensive drugs, not everybody able to reach the, the access to drugs in Turkey. Uh, so that's why we ended up with the 56 patients. Uh, we identified about 160, you know, 59 uh, drug related problems and the causes. But at the end, with the pharmacist involvement in the outpatient settings, we managed to solve the 65% of the problems that we managed to solve. So we made the recommendations to the physicians as a clinical pharmacist in outpatient settings, and the physicians were happy to accept our 65% of uh, our uh, recommendations accepted by the physicians, which is so good. So which indicates the, the value of uh, the involvement of a clinical pharmacist in outpatient settings with the new drugs, as new drug treatment as well. It was, uh, it was a small-scale study which was done with the targeted therapies but we started to get involved in oncology settings, inpatient and outpatient setting. So I think this study helped us to get involved, more involved in the patient care process for the patient with cancer in Turkey as a clinical pharmacist. So I assume that this, this was the, one of the first studies was focusing on immunotherapies in cancer patients. So I think uh, it opened up the questions to the uh, major ground for pharmacists. You know, what are the issues with these patients? What are the treatment issues or drug-related drug issues? So if you can get involved in the patient care process as a clinical pharmacist, you will add up uh, really to the uh, patient's quality of life or maybe help to the physician's practice as well.